Welcome back everyone. We're here at the Tudor booth at Watches and Wonders in Geneva and we're gonna do a little recap of our personal highlight of the Tudor novelties. I'm here joined with my friend Burak, aka the wrist guy. You will find his channel and his Instagram and everything down in the description below. All the links to the watches will be down below as well. We have something new, right? Yes, basically our highlights are the new three Black Bay models. Actually, there are a lot more Black Bay models, but those are the, the main three ones that we actually find the most exciting. I'd like to start with the smallest in the bunch, Yeah, the Black Bay 54, an actual new model from yes. Tudor. When saying 54, it's really smaller than the 58, yeah. namely 37 millimeters in case yes. diameter. Not only is it smaller, it's slim. Yeah. It sits great on the wrist. Beautiful proportions, fantastic proportions. Yeah. And if we have measured correctly, the watch also features 20 millimeter lugs. Therefore, it's gonna be absolute strap queen. Exactly, yeah. And that's what I love at least. Yes, and some other people can appreciate it as well. You're gonna go for the metal bracelet, right? Uh, bracelet and then I'll just go get a bunch of uh, different leather straps for it because actually I really love old small vintage watches on leather straps and that was one really looks has this whole vintage vibe to it that's what I really like about it because they really took the model from 1954 and they basically copied it one to one the result looks fantastic but it has actually modern technology in it it's not a new but uh, in-house movement chronometer certified uh, 200 meters of water resistance although it has a very small crown yeah t fit class beautiful bracelet so you have a beautifully modern watch but in a nice vintage packaging let's exactly say like. yeah a good package overall yes. a nice watch watch and yes. definitely something you should check out. There is a new Black Bay yeah. 41, right? Yes. Something changed there as well. Not only is it now Meta's certified, the dimensions changed as well. Yes, it has been made a little bit slimmer because that was actually the main uh, point of critique uh, for the old one since it was too, too thick, you know, the famous uh, slab-sided case. So that one has become a lot thinner and they also put a Jubilee bracelet on it. Very and nice Jubilee. Bracelet. Yes, yeah. it, is, it is executed very very well and it has uh, also the t-fit class with the micro uh, micro adjustment system it, it is a very very nice package and i think they kind of saved the 41 black bay since no one really bought that one uh, all the guys were actually focusing on the 58s and i think this model especially with the red bezel yeah it looks awesome yeah it looks and really nice and it's just great on the wrist with the new dimensions yeah it's, it's really become something that you can actually yes. wear on a day-to-day -day basis yes. For, yes. especially for people that have smaller wrists yes you want like a bigger watch at least i do i prefer it to be a bit more thin or on the thinner side and the proportions are great on this one i think actually the jubilee bracelet makes it even wear smaller than yeah. the oyster bracelet totally so that's also the good point last highlight is the gmt yes so what changed with the gmt actually a new dial color exactly. or is it even a new dial material i don't know actually i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure we need to check that but there's a link down below to the watch if you want to check it out it has an opaline dial Yes. So basically a uh, white-ish, white, white silverish dial, dial, something yeah. like that. It kind of reminds me of the um, meteorite dial on the Pepsi GMT of Rolex. Yeah. It has the same vibe to it. Of course, it's not meteorite. It has a very, very nice uh, color play because yeah. of the white, blue and red. Looks good, but my problem with it, I already found the old one, the black one, too thick and too big. And the white dial kind of plays into that and makes it look even bigger, even thicker, even more chunky. It's not for me, but it's a nice new color way, actually. But I think what we can see here is the future of Tudor. I mean, we see that we see the 58, we see the 54. They are changing the cases. They're making them slimmer. Yeah. It's only a matter of time until they also change the GMT to make it more in line with the other ones. I they guess. will. They I will. Guess. They will. Yeah. Be because they actually build a new manufacturer building. Yeah. You were uh, there. Yeah. I, I was there. The new factory. Uh, you can check out my video down in the description below. They nice have, plug, by the way. Of course. <laughs> they have this whole floor which is dedicated to Meta's testing. It runs 24-7, it has a bunch of robots in it, everything is run autonomously and there is this office where only the Meta certified people can go in, not even Tudor themselves. So they're trying to implement the Meta's movement in as much models as they can. Yeah. That's actually
actually first step towards that that new kind of tutor, the metal certified movement inside the BlackBerry 41. And that's great, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's a good good step. So that's basically it. There are tons of other changes that have been made. There are some new dial colors on the Royal. There are some new dial colors on the other BlackBerry models. But basically, these are our highlights from the show. I think the 54 is yeah. one of the coolest editions because yes. this whole vintage vibe and there's a lot of history to the watch itself. Yes. And if you go back to what Tudor is doing last year with the Ranger, I think yeah. we will see more of these pieces coming up in yes. the future. Overall, I personally really like the 54. Yes. I think it's my personal highlight as well. It's just the perfect fit for my wrist. What's your favorite? The 54. Uh, 54. Well. Yeah. Actually, the price is also amazing because it's like 3,500 francs or something in, in that ballpark. It's amazing. It's one of the best watches that you can buy actually for that price, in my opinion. So that's it. This is a recap of the Tudor novelties here more or less live from Geneva from Watches and Wonders. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let us know or let me know because I'll tell him anyway. Um, <laughs> let, let me know your feedback on the watches. Is there something that we missed? Something that you personally really like? Put it down in the comments and let's, let's talk about it. That being said, as usual, if you feel like you can put a thumbs up and we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.